This was about as good as it got in the first half at East End Park. A grim first 45. Ended with a scoring chance for Dunfermline's Barry Nicholson. But he failed to catch the shot. On 56 minutes, the only goal of the game. Lee Bullen's foul on Hart's top scorer Mark De Vries and Kenny Clark had no doubts that was a penalty. Bullen too tight on De Vries and lured into the foul. Put Stephen Presley on the spot and he tends to score. This is fourth successful penalty conversion of the season. And the skipper's fifth goal in all. Man of the match, De Vries, should have had his 15th goal of the season. But before he hit the net, he'd used an arm to control the cross from Jean-Louis Valois. More bad news for him was the hamstring problem which later led to him coming off. And here was another opportunity for Hearts to seal the point. Andy Kirk kept himself onside, but chose to shoot from an angle. If he'd selected the square pass instead, Kevin McKenna would surely have scored. The Tynecastle team might have regretted that had Dunfermline equalised right on time, but it wasn't to be for Nicholson. Dunfermline have won only twice in the league since the winter break, and it's Hearts who are heading for UEFA Cup qualification. We've a huge follower with us today to East End Park and uh, they were very patient, very vocal and uh, you know I'm hoping that, that in the last, well this season I think that I'm hoping that we've done enough to convince them that we're worth watching next week again because I think the bigger the Hearts follow next week then uh, the better it will be for the team. We know how difficult it is to play against Hearts uh, they made it very difficult for us, we had a few half chances. Marco's not really that much today but um, well, oh, the first goal was always going to be important and, and they got it and they battled the way and got the results probably as they have done the whole season.